Hello, Pastor Charles Osazua is my name, President of Education Assembly International Incorporated. As I was praying and seeking the face of the Lord, I heard God say to me, five breakthrough Sundays. Listen, life is controlled by time and season. The first breakthrough Sunday is 5th of March. What is happening on the 5th of March? It's the day of the Lord's vengeance. Listen to me, there are forces, there are powers fighting to make sure you don't move to the next level on the 5th of march is the day of the lord's vengeance is the day the almighty we avenge for you your cause and break satanic yoke around your life now we now go to the 12th of march the 12th of march is the day of breaking barrier the day of taking away limitation whatever represents limitation around your life shall be broken on this special breakthrough sunday now we go to the 19th of march it's a day of release there are some of you here you are due to be released to your homes released to new job released to new destination released to the place where god has ordained for you to be so this covenant sunday special breakthrough sunday of 19th of march we deliver this powerful miracle in your life wait a minute on the 26th of march it's a covenant day of recovery i don't know what the enemy has taken in your life there's going to be manifestation and power and prayers in all these breakthrough sundays ladies and gentlemen whatever you have lost whatever the devil took from you as you make yourself available in this breakthrough sunday there shall be recovery finally on the second of april the grand finale is an anointed service it's a special day of praise and worship a special day of testimony a day of transfer of wealth transfer is an impartation sunday i know as you make yourself available According to Acts chapter 19, he says, And God wrote special miracle through the hands of Paul. The handkerchief and apron from him performed signs and wonders. I look forward to see you in these five breakthrough Sundays. Buses has been made available. Wherever you are, call the numbers on the screen. Now, don't ever forget this. On the 5th, on the 12th, on the 19th, on the 26th, and on the 2nd of April we are going to be meeting in city of david kilometer 10 supply roads and all rock of ages branches nearest to you i look forward to hearing your testimony god bless you breaking barriers and what limitation lift up your right hand whatever represent barrier in somebody's life this particular service is ordained to clear off that barrier. Yeah. In case you are the one, can I hear your loudest name? Yeah. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 17. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 17. Look at this. Cry yet. Let's read together. I want to go. Saying, thus saith the Lord of hosts, my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Now this is God's agenda for the church. This is God's prophetic plan for your life. This is the mind of God concerning Zion. That my city. Let's acknowledge the owner of the church, the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's acknowledge it. My city, through prosperity. Listen. It is the will of God that you prosper. It is the will of God that you build companies and employ thousands of people. It's the will of God that you are a blessing to orphans and widows. It's the will of God that you become a blessing to your generation. Why? Through prosperity, my city shall spread abroad. And the Lord will comfort Zion. Came across and experienced 
during the week of a career lady, good job, at the verge of committing suicide, at the verge of ending it all. Ladies and gentlemen, by the time I'm through in this service, whatever represents barrier between you and the next level, the hand of God will break it in the mighty name of Jesus. How I wish your amen can be louder than your neighbors. Now, if my city through prosperity shall be spread abroad, what now is the problem? If the Lord will comfort Zion, what now is the issue? Why is Zion not comforted? If God has vowed to choose Jerusalem, why is there crisis? Why is there trouble? Why is there unfulfilled dreams? Why are things happening the way they are happening? That answer is in verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw, and behold, four limitations. And I saw four horns. Take note of this. These four horns represent demonic block. These four horns represent satanic hindrance. And I saw four horns. Hey, by the time this particular service is over, whatever represents horn in somebody's life, watch it. Watch your dream these five weeks. Watch your encounter these five weeks. Watch the hand of God upon your life these five weeks. My city, through prosperity, shall spread abroad. And the Lord shall comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. But this prophecy is not happening. Why? And I lifted up my eyes and saw, behold, four horns. Verse 19. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What is the meaning of this? By the record, I'm supposed to be married. Why am I single? By the record, I'm supposed to have gone beyond this level. What is going on? And I talked to the angel. What meant this? My prophecy is contradictory to my personality. My prophecy is contrary to my situation. This is God's plan. How come it's not happening? And what did the angel say? The angel answered me. These are the horns we scatters prophecy, we scatter Judah and Israel and Jerusalem. Who is Israel? The covenant tribe of God. Who is Jerusalem? God's headquarters. Who is Judah? Praise. So these be the horns that scattered Judah and Jerusalem. I bow down my knees on this altar of Raqqa. Whatever horn around somebody's life scattering God's plan and prophecy, as I hear your loudest amen, that horn is giving way now. Yeah. Go to verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. So there are four horns, there are four deliverers. There are for every horn, there is a carpenter. Today, I send the carpenters of heaven into your marriage. I send the carpenters of heaven into your business. I send the carpenters of heaven into your career. Whatever represents horn around your life, if I hear your loudest amen, the carpenters are putting the horn. Every satanic horn right now, I command them to be uprooted by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at 21. Then said I, what come this to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horn which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. As long as this horn is operational, you can't lift up your head. I work hard, I have a degree, things are working. But I can't lift up my head. He said, this horn is responsible why men cannot lift up their head. But these are come to free them.
to cast out the horn of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. He said, These are the horn that have come to scatter Judah and Jerusalem. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Limitations are real, barriers are real. Sometimes you can see where you are going, but there are obstacles. Sometimes you can see where the Lord is taking you to, but you lack access. This particular service, if I be a man of God, whatever represent horn, scattering God's agenda for your life, your next amen will clear them off. In Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12, Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12, this is very striking. In Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12, then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand, and chasing thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come down for thy words. Verse 13. However, this miracle happening now ought to have happened before. This testimony you are sharing now ought to have happened before. The prince of the kingdom of Persia resisted me. There was a barrier. There was limitation. I was resisted. For one and twenty days. But I, I was able to survive because of help from heaven. The angel of God had to send back up. Michael, the defense chief, had to send help from heaven. To overthrow this satanic barrier and limitation. Say from the first day, from the first day, all these answers that are pouring in now within these five weeks ought to have come before. But the prince of Persia, anywhere you see a prince, it means there is a king. And anywhere you see a king, it means there is a kingdom. And anywhere you see a kingdom, that means there is a domain, there is a territory. So the prince didn't come by himself. He's representing a force. I don't know the barriers around your life but before you walk out of this service every barrier from any prince of the power of the air if i hear your vibrating amen they are clearing off right now first corinthians chapter 16 and verse 9 a great door and effectual is open unto me but there are many limitations but there are barriers there are limitations. This is Paul speaking. A great door and effectual. I can see, I know that God has done something. I know that God has done something. I can feel my testimony. I can feel my breakthrough. I can feel the hand of God around my life. I know it. I can feel it. But there are many adversaries. There are barriers. I have one agenda this morning to take off the barrier stopping you from assessing your testimony i don't know if that person is anywhere in this service whatever represent barrier barica to parita sila do brani karia tasia bereko pentus ketike shike brina negia to para mako pakos kete setika boria to mekia to malite shukrita pros kerita ba modosia whatever represent barrier in somebody's life by the time you stand up to go the egyptians you saw yesterday you shall see them no more forever john chapter 5 and verse 2 now there was a man at jerusalem by the sheep market the pool which is called in the hebrew tongue Bethsaida, having five punches verse 3 now in this lay a great multitude of important folk of blind, hard, withered, waiting for the move of the water. Verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Verse 5. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity for how many years? 38 years. Verse 6. When Jesus saw him lie 
he knew that he had been there now for a long time in that case i don't know the case that i've been long in your life is giving way this morning yeah. he said unto him will that be made hold verse 7 the impotent man answered sir i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool but why i am coming another step it down before me yes the miracle is in the water but i'm limited by men before it gets to my turn <laughs> you know i had a testimony of a young man all his life if he goes to a wedding they will give food to everybody when it's his turn the food will finish if it's in a petrol station once his car gets to the nozzle fuel gets finished so he got concerned he said how come when he gets to my turn <laughs> everything <laughs> praise god this man said i've been in this situation for 38 years but i'm limited i have barriers because of my condition when the water is troubled before i get there somebody else had already jumped into the water now is there someone here that somebody is sitting on your position is there someone here what god had planned for you and somebody is holding it is there someone here with human barriers around his life i am glad to let you know that to everything in this kingdom there is an end today mark the end of somebody jumping in before you so before it gets to my turn somebody else takes my place i like you to say with your mouth nobody takes my place anymore say it with all assurance nobody takes my place now now you don't understand you don't understand you are a contractor you quote for a job other people quoted for that same job but your own your own will be attended to this man stayed in one position sir was delayed for 38 years because of human barriers because of human barriers he stayed in that position for 38 years do you know sir many have not been promoted because one human being somewhere said as long as i'm in this office you will never be promoted you know they are like that you know there are some people who have done contracts they've done jobs they've given them completion certificates job certified everything certified but what is the problem somebody somewhere have said as long as i'm in this office you will never be paid but can i tell you something he's a human being he's a man that spoke it's not god that is speaking and whatever man has said can be overturned by the almighty the almighty cannot be speaking and you are afraid of the mighty this morning whatever human barrier in any office in any embassy in any place that have vowed that you will never move to the next level whoever is an evil speaker saying some things to discredit your person so that you will not move from where you are to where god wants you to go i stand as a generational prophet and i command that human barrier to clear off in the name of jesus there are human beings that have made themselves obstacles holding down the destinies of other people there are some of you here you just need the signature of a man to move you to the next level your file is on is already unstable your file is with him but for one reason or the other he's reluctant to sign that was before you came to this service between now and tomorrow i move heaven i move angels i move creation to move into such quarters and release to you whatever belongs to you if that is you can i hear you loud and say amen first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 wherefore we would have come unto you 
even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us I don't know if you are anointed as Paul I don't know if you have raised the dead I don't know if you encounter Jesus on your way to Damascus Apostle Paul is one of God's greatest servants of all time he wrote half of the New Testament as a matter of fact after Jesus said the next person is Paul said but you know what we would have come unto you we had plans to come and help you we had plans to visit you we had plans there was plans but we were hindered there was limitation there was barrier I would have come unto you Paul even I speaking Paul but Satan he that us who is blessed so far can I prophesy if I'm your prophet and you believe in the oil that I carry whatever is hindering your conception today by an apostolic mandate that hindrance is taken away from your way watch this I just heard a testimony during the week a 38 year old lady 16 years barrenness destroyed 16 years barrenness destroyed she was pregnant for three months she didn't know she was pregnant for three months she didn't know you know why she said, when I expected the babies, they didn't come. So I removed my mind. So the baby came without her knowing. I would have come unto you, Paul. Even I, Paul. But Satan hindered us. Can I tell you something? There are people God has positioned in your life. But there is a hindrance. I'm speaking as a man of God. There are people, there are men in different places that god had placed to move you from here to this place but there are hindrance if paul can said i wanted to come i was on my way to your house i had concluded plan to come but i was hindered ladies and gentlemen barriers are real a man did a job for an oil company for nearly three years they didn't pay a committed tighter a dangerous giver the man gives beyond tithe he pays his tithe get involved in the projects take good care of the pastor the business began to go down the business began to go down to a level that he didn't have a car. This is a man that owing hundreds of millions in the oil company. Got so bad he had to sell his car. But this is what happened. After a counter with a service like this, after a counter with the power of God, they now fold him. He had a son before he got married while he was in school he had a son so before he got married to his legitimate wife so they called him and said that your son is confessing witchcraft first they said the son was sick he ran down when he got to where the son was the son was confessing that he's a wizard and said that the all your money they are owing you i'm responsible and the reason why they didn't pay so the boy died after confessing and the man wanted to still kill the dead body the boy is dead the man was so angry he wanted to still kill a dead man the tears dried within three months the oil company started calling him ah mr kelvin we have your we have approved your invoices we have your money ready 
where are you he said can you ask me where i am i've been troubling you coming here every day to ask for my money and now you're asking me i'm here they started paying the man they started paying the man by the mandate of heaven no matter how close they are to you whoever have made himself a barrier and a hindrance to the prophetic agenda of god in your life before the end of this remaining four weeks may god almighty expose them in the name of jesus whoever the young man a wizard confessed that he was the one holding the man's money and god cleared him off and the money came in can i tell you something if not for the power of the gospel and the power of god that man's money may never be paid you have so much money yet you are stranded but i'm standing here to declare if there is any mortal man dead or alive standing as a hindrance to your next major breakthrough if your amen can cover this crowd then that hindrance will be removed right now genesis 27 and verse 24 now take note of this and he said are thou my very son esau isaac wanted to transfer the blessing and told esau what to do and esau went out to look for what the father asked for before he came jacob had already supplanted him look at this and he said are thou my very son esau and he said i am 20, 25 he said come close let me feel you and the mother had properly prepared him go to 26 and his father isaac said unto him come near now and kiss me my son 27 and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said see the smell of my son is as of the smell of a feed the lord had blessed 28 therefore god give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and the plenty of corn and wine 29 let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee be the lord over thy brethren and let them thy mother's sons bow down to thee cause beat every man that cursed thee and blesses every man that blessed thee 30 and it came to pass as soon as isaac had made an end of the blessing and jacob was yet cast gone out from the presence of isaac his father he saw his brother came in from his hunting may satan not give you an assignment that god did not give you may satan not take you away from the very moment he wants to bless you yeah. on the day of your promotion may your gsm phone not say network and you know sometimes they pick up a phone something happened about three weeks ago i was in a meeting and i needed to reach out to somebody very important call and i just put the call across and the person picked the call if that man didn't pick that call at that moment a lot of things would have spoiled my prayer for you the day they want to honor you let it not be the day your battery is down let it not be the day there is no network you may not understand listen listen in life a second counts one minute is important in life it doesn't take hours just please of seconds certain things can just happen very fast i wish i'm talking to someone here i wish i'm talking to someone here Esau came in when somebody already took what belonged to him. An irrecoverable blessing. A blessing that cannot be recalled. Lift up your right hand. Whoever has disgust to take your place. Whoever is mimicking your voice to take your place. Whoever is strategizing to pull you out and take your place. 
If I be a man of God, as you say, Lord, Amen. I scatter that plan in the name of Jesus. Whoever Satan is preparing to take your place, whoever is taking over your marriage, whoever is taking over your job, whoever is taking over your career, I stand today to decree. If you say, Lord, Amen, they are clearing us now. The question is. What delayed Esau? What delayed him? Do you know there are some times in the very, the very moment God wants to remember you, you are not around. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. God wants to honor certain people. They are not on ground. I've seen it happen. Esau walked in. Go to the next verse, I think in 31 and see. And he also had made savory meat and brought it to his father. And said unto his father, let my father arise and eat of his servant's venison that thy soul may bless me. 32, the father began to shiver. And Isaac, his father said unto him, who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn. I am, is me. Your firstborn. Esau. 33. And Isaac trembled. He became restless because somebody somewhere had played a smart one and said, Who? Where is he that have taken the venison and brought it to me and I have eaten? There is no more stomach to put your own. I have eaten. There is no more space to contain you. I am full. And I have eaten all before thou comest. And have blessed him. Yea. He shall be blessed. Hey. That blessing I gave to him. Is the one my father gave me. Is irrevocable. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis 25 and verse 5. Come on watch this. Watch this. And Abraham gave all. That he had unto Isaac. He gave all. He gave all that he had unto Isaac. So Isaac also gave all to Jacob. Go back to 33. Go back to 33 of Genesis. Go, quick. And Isaac trembled. He shall be blessed. 34. Watch this. 34. And when he saw her, the words of his father. He cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry. It's not this, it's not the cry, bitter cry. Because it was not about Esau. It was about Esau and his children. It's a generational blessing. It's a lineage blessing. It was supposed to be the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Esau. Now Esau has been removed and omitted because something delayed him. He was not around. If you read further, he asked his father, don't you have another blessing for me? Bless me even also. My father bless me. <laughs> the father said, you don't understand. I can't repeat what I said. Because I was not in control. It's not drama. I can't repeat them. Lift up your right hand. Whoever is scheming for the blessing God had prepared for you, whoever is plotting, this particular service will expose them. Yeah. How I wish your amen can be louder than your neighbor's so. amen. Who is blessed here today? Amen. Whatever represents barrier, whatever represents limitation, human, environmental, what kind of barrier? I decree they are giving way this day. Amen. If that is you, can I hear your loudest? Amen. Amen. Now, what is barrier and limitation? What is it? Number one, barrier is anything that stands against your access. Or, or strut your movement. 
barrier and limitation is anything that stands against your access or stop your movement. Number two, limitation and barrier can also mean anything that reduces your capacity to perform or function. Anything that reduces your capacity to perform or functions. Number three, an object like a force an object like a force that prevents people from moving forward from one place to another. An object like a force that prevents people from moving forward from one place or another. Number four, barriers. Barrier is a situation that prevents people or something from making progress. A situation that prevents people or something for making progress. The last definition. Barrier is something that make movement impossible. Barrier is something that make movement impossible. It's on the board. You can pick it up. Let me come again. Barrier is anything that stands against your access of movement. It stands. Number two. It also means anything that reduces your capacity. Anything that reduces your capacity. Your capacity to perform. Your capacity to perform. You know you are more than this. But you are reduced. Number three. An object like a force that prevents people from moving forward from one place to another. Number four. Barrier is a situation that prevents people or something from making progress. Number five, barrier is something that makes movement impossible. Is this clear? Is this clear now? Barriers are real. Some have boarded aircraft, go to America and Canada, they saw the city, but they never entered. That is human barrier. They saw the city, but they never what? Entered. My prayer for you, ladies and gentlemen, you will not only see, but you will enter. Yeah. This amen ought to be louder than this. Yeah. You will not only see, but God will make you enter. Yeah. How I wish some of this amen can be very loud. Yeah. Now that takes us to the next one. Kinds of barrier. Because you need to know the different kinds of barriers. So when we start praying, you know what to attack. You know what to deal with. Can I continue in this message? The first on the list is human barrier. Human barrier. Nehemiah chapter 4 from verse 1 to 3. Ladies and gentlemen. But it came to pass that when Sambalayat heard that we built the wall, he was angry. And took great indignation and mocked the Jews. Verse 2. And spake before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What does these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in the day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burnt? Sambalat and Tobiah stood. Go to verse 3 and see what is there. Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him. And he said, even that which they build, if a force go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Let me tell you how I've trained myself. I don't listen to critics. I don't. You know why? Take it or leave it. Satan has positioned people to distract you. I know. I'm too smart for that. There are people on every project that Satan has positioned. That's why you see in this church, if you are a gossip or you are a talker, you won't have a place here because nobody is listening to you. There are people 
can I tell you something? The moment you are destabilized emotionally, they've gotten you. There is no man on earth that has the capacity to tell you something that will make you think. You know why? It's a man speaking, not God. You think before Samuel came, the tears of Anna at the altar was not just because she had no child. It's the mockery of men. It's the mockery of people. Have you ever been mocked? If a poor man has no child, he has not committed offense. But the moment you are successful and you have no children, oh, there must be a problem. A poor man married, even forever, no child, nobody talks. But the moment you are prominent and there is a delay somewhere, oh, no wonder, no wonder he's breaking through. No wonder. You know, people have a way of talking. And listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's difficult to handle. It's difficult. If you focus on opposition, you will lose your position. Opposition is just to distract you from your position. When Nehemiah made up his mind to build the broken wall, Sambalat and Tobiah rose up as human barriers. Take note of this. There are human beings that are vowed. That is why I tell people, no matter what you go through, may you not explain to your enemy because the moment you start explaining to your enemy you are confirming the attack on your life they go back and say oh it worked it worked she's not happy oh the, the husband ran away okay oh 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 the thing is the thing is affecting her it's affecting her you're only permitted to talk to god and your pastor only your pastor and god that is the only person you are permitted to talk to because they will come back and check if the missile worked you come back. I've been through a lot in my life, so I know what I'm talking about. I've been through a lot. A lot. When we came to Sapley Road, so Sazo were very arrogant. Why will he leave uh, Ojo and come to Sapley Road? That far church. Who does he think he is? Self? Should I listen to that? This man will just open his mouth. Uh, can I take a cathedral, school, hospital, Bible college, this one? Hey? Helicopter will land on top of the church. Ah. Now, wow. Okay, now. Hmm. Why do you want man to endorse what God gave you? Why? Why do you want approval of man to implement divine agenda? Why? Am I speaking to someone here? So, there are human barriers. Exodus chapter 10 and verse 20. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel what? go. So, Pharaoh was the human barrier. The first kind of barrier is human being. This is not demon. Human, wicked human being. A man says he wants to get married to you everything is flowing and you visit the parents then once you visit the parents and return they must stop picking your call why somebody told him something pastor pray for me since i went for introduction he's not picking my call i don't know what happened i tried to call him the number you are calling is no longer in service i don't know what to do pastor you know there are human in in some family there are human beings that take decision yes or no once they say come michael you won't marry that it's, it's over it's over if you go ahead and marry you are your own do you know there are human beings that we say as long as i'm in this state you can never be governor as long as i'm alive you will never be president do you know there are some human beings as long you know you know, you know a, a lady was telling me during the week she was qualified for scholarship and the man said, well, uh, before I grant this scholarship, uh, we need to see. We need to see somewhere. You know, he said, see where? <laughs> he said, we need to see. That's a human barrier. I will not sign your scholarship form without seeing you. That's a devil. It's a devil. Lift up your right hand. 
every man in any place who have made himself a barrier in your life as you say amen may God remove their sins in that company in that office in that establishment may God almighty remove their sins how I wish your amen can be louder than your neighbor say Pharaoh stood against 3 million people covenant children children of prophecy and said they will never go and worship he stood in Exodus chapter 4 verse 22 and 23 God had to kill Pharaoh he said if you don't clear off let my son go I kill your son I kill your son because the time to favor Zion has come so this time around they must go whatever represent human barrier planted around your destiny today in this service of breaking barriers may that barrier be cleared of in the name of Jesus number two demonic barriers demonic ladies and gentlemen how many of you know Satan can manipulate dreams? Somebody can say, okay, come by Monday morning. I want to help you. I want to give you a check, 10 million. And that night, Satan will just project a demonic dream and bring you with cutlass pursuing him. Will he still give you the check? Or maybe it's the wife that had a dream. The wife will say, honey, honey, you see that boy that comes here? Security, don't open gate. I saw him. He wanted to kill you. And you are innocent. In First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18, we would have come unto you, but Satan hindered us. Demonic barrier. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Quickly. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. In high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Listen to me. Stop asking what you have done. There are wicked demonic forces. I told you last Sunday of a lady. Who had the first child died. Second child died. Planning to kill the third one. I said move to my house. She moved from my house to give birth to that baby. And the baby is over 10 years now. Listen, there are forces from hell programmed to stop human beings. There are forces. Well, when under the decade, well, under the decade, there used to be a lady in our church then. She's a lady, but she has beers. And the Lord said to me, if this lady don't move, you will never leave this level. For this church to move, this lady must move. And I said, if I tell this lady to move, she will make trouble. So I went down on my knees. Say, Lord, relocate this lady. As soon as she left, God gave us a new church. She has the anointing to visit all the members' house. She said, an unlicensed FM station. She knows what God told me and what God has not told me. She goes about poisoning the hearts of members. And the Lord said to me, This is a demonic operation. Can I tell you something? Don't be emotional. Certain people must live your life. If you really want to serve God, you really want to be on fire for God, certain people must live. There are principalities and powers that must clear up your way, sir. That's why in the next verse, he said, put on the whole armor. If 
you faint in the day of adversity, it means your strength is small. You know, demonic forces can manipulate, can come in different forms, sir. They can come in different forms, they can take different shape. Satan can orchestrate if satanic lie told on your head. In Daniel chapter 10 of verse 12, from the first day, your answers came, but the demonic force resisted. Lift up your right hand. Every demonic battle you are fighting that you do not even know, visible and invisible, they are clearing off right now. Yeah. If that is you, can I hear your loudest say amen? Yeah. Number three, because I need to close shortly. Family barrier. First Samuel chapter 17, from verse 57 to 58. No matter your CV, no matter what you have done, there are people who may never identify with you until they know who you are. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistines, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine. Look at the achievement of this man. Look at what he has done. Look at the great exploit that he had done. Verse 58, you know what? And Saul said unto him, I know you have achieved, you have done well. Whose son are thou? What's your family name? No matter your result, are you, part, are you in our class? Whose son are you? A man who took away obstacle from the nation. A man who had the head of Goliath in his hand. A man who fought for the nation. You still want to ask him his identity. There are people, sir. There are places. They want to know your family name. Family barrier. They want to know. Oh, we know you made a first class, but who are you? Who is your father? Can I tell somebody something? The next breakthrough coming, they will not ask you a question. The next blessing coming, they will not ask you a question. They would have finished with you before they know where you came from. Whatever family name, family barrier that is hindering you today, that barrier is destroyed. Let Lawrence Anini the arm robber. The daughter may not be an arm robber, but that name is already a stigma. Say, who's, what's your name? I want to apply to be accountant in this reputable company. What's your name? And Clara Anene, which Anene the arm robber? Ah, please, please, take back the job. Ah, no, no, no. But, but, but she's innocent. She may not be an arm robber. There are some names you attach yourself to. They become a hindrance to you. Lift up your right hand. I bow down my knees on this altar. Whatever represents family barrier is giving way today in the name of Jesus. The next one is environmental barrier. 2 Kings 2.19 2 Kings 2.19 Environmental barrier. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord see it, but the water is not, and the ground is barren. The ground, the earth can work against you. But if you are a child of God, you can resist these barriers. That is why in Psalm 24 and verse 7, Be ye lifted up, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting. Say, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Watch the next verse, verse 8. Who is this king of glory? So they must ask your identity. Now, what is the identity? The Lord strong. The Lord mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. So you must deal with environmental barriers. You deal with them. When I step into Benin, August 20th, 2002, I removed my shoes from my leg. And I entered covenant with this city. Oh, Benin, you must respond to me. Now, if this city responded to your father, it will respond to you in the name of Jesus. Say, it will respond to me. 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 Say it. I removed my shoe in textile mirror with my traveling bag. People thought I was mad. And I began to speak into the atmosphere. Garata, Sakata, Nabo, Korea. Oh, ye heads of Berlin. You will respond to me. They did not respond. In every city, sir, 
The same way you have governor in a do state, spiritually, that's how you have governor. You have demons placed in charge of every land. The fifth one, have two more to go. Academic barrier and limitation. I want to make you a director in Shell, but you have the qualification. So that is why you have to upgrade, update, get, keep going to school. Keep adding to your CV. The reason why Paul exceeded all the disciples was because of his education. He was a lawyer. Peter didn't, go to, didn't know too much apart from catching fish in Bayasa. He didn't know too much. But Paul, he was learned. I, I see some graduates say you are BSc. You, are, and, and you can't work with computer. My dear, you only prosper in heaven, not on earth. <laughs> Academic barrier is major. How many agree what I'm saying? Go and update your CV. Go and upgrade your CV. Prepare your CV. Prepare yourself. When preparation meets with opportunity, it becomes manifestation, sir. I met a lady some time ago. Pretty lady, wear dress. When she opened her mouth, and that's why I be on. That's why I be for our family. That's why. Hey, your beauty don't match your communication. Upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself. Everything today is digital. Everything, everything, life has, has advanced. Nobody will, see, oh, give me this job. I need money to pay it. Nobody wants to take liability. They want asset. There are some airports you go in the world. Nobody to check you in. You won't see human being. I've been there. You go to the airport. The computer is there. You check yourself in. <laughs> so for you, you won't travel. You are lost. You get to such airport, you are finished. Because nobody's going to talk to you. There's a machine, you check yourself in and walk into the airport. So that's how it is. Hey, pastor, take advantage of adult education. I've seen people that are not graduates, but when they speak, you will never know. Take advantage of adult education. Upgrade yourself because it can be a limitation. It can be what? A limitation. It can be a barrier. When it's time for politics election, they turn you to Agbil. You will be the people dancing and beating band and holding hand. The moment election is over, they dump you. Why? You can't be a commissioner. You can't be an SA. You can't even you can't be anything now. You wait for another four years. Is that not so? What will they make you now? Tell me. You have no certificate. You have no CV. So your job is to fill the stadium. To go and mobilize. And bring new Benin market women. Oba market women. Satana market women. That's your job. That's why you are complaining. Listen. It's either you are in academics or you are in business. You must be somewhere. Who is blessed here today? The last one is language barrier. Genesis 11 and verse 7 and 8. Ladies and gentlemen, language can also be a barrier. There are people, if you don't speak a particular language, they don't take you serious. Is that not true? But this is not major. This is minor. Go. Let us go down and they are confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So language also can be a barrier. Go to verse 8, the final one. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of the earth and they left the project. <laughs> they left the project. Who is blessed here today? Now, we are going to pray for the next five minutes. Whichever barrier you identify, deal with it. You have human barrier, you have demonic barrier, you have environmental barrier. Which other barrier? All these barriers. I want you to rise like soldiers. Now listen. If God can hear your voice, he can handle your matter. 
I like you to cry to God. Cry to God. Whatever represents barrier in my life, cry to Him. Cry to Him. This is not how I want you to pray. This is not how I want you to pray. Lord, every human barrier in my life, every demonic barrier in my life, every environmental barrier fighting my destiny, can you lift up your voice and speak to heaven today? I want you to pray. Lift up your voices. Speak to the Lord. Barrier to Korea. Look at it on the board. Look at it on the board. Whatever kind of barrier, whatever kind of barrier affecting my life, affecting my destiny, go ahead and deal with it. Go ahead and deal with it. Whatever represents barrier around my life, go ahead and deal with it.